Hello preschool friends, Mrs. Crimmins here, and I have a story that we are going to read called Grandma Lena's Big Old Turnip. Now you have read a story or you heard the story of the gigantic turnip, and this is kind of really similar or very much alike Grandma Lena's Big Old Turnip, okay? Or the gigantic turnip. Grandma Lena's Big Old Turnip is very much like the gigantic turnip, but we're going to read it. So our title is Grandma Lena's Big Old Turnip, and it's by Dina Hester, illustrated by Jackie Urbanovic. Okay, so here we go. We are going to read the gigantic turnip, or Grandma Lena's Big Old Turnip. I'm getting my stories confused. The whole thing started when Grandma Lena decided to grow turnips in her backyard garden. With, with her reading glasses perched on her nose, all winter she studied her seed catalogs, hoping to find just the right kind of plant, the right kind to plant. Um, Grandma chuckled at all the fancy names. There were white knights and scarlet queens, royal crown and white lady. She finally decided on a turnip called Purple Top. After all, purple was her favorite color. So there she is looking at her seed catalogs, trying to decide what kind she's going to get. And she decided on the Purple Top turnip. When spring arrived and the ground was soft enough for digging, Grandma Lena planted the tiny seeds. She didn't worry that the air was still nippy. She knew turnips liked cool weather. Soon, tiny plants popped up. So once you plant the seed and you water them, the tiny seedlings start popping up. For the next month, Grandma Lena watered and weeded her turnip plants every day. Hey, Lena, Uncle Isidore teased. I hope you taught those turnips how to swim. You're watering them so much, I'm afraid they're gonna drown. Grandma Lena grunted and said what she always believed. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. Every day, the turnip grew. One was bigger than the rest. You can see in the picture that one turnip in the back is bigger than the rest. Hmm. On the first day of June, Grandma Lena stepped into her garden to find the biggest, fattest, most gigantic turnip she had ever laid eyes on. What a fine turnip stew it will make, she thought. It's enough to feed half the town. From the porch, Baby Pearl stared at the turnip with wide eyes. Big potato, she said with a giggle. Is that a potato? Is a turnip a potato? No, it's not a potato, but it grows underground like a potato. Grandma Lena took hold of the enormous stem and leaves. She yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Carl, Grandma called, come down, put down that newspaper and help me pull up this old turnip. Mm. So she's calling for help, just like in the gigantic turnip. Grandpa took off his reading glasses and came running. Then Grandma pulled then Grandpa pulled on Grandma while Grandma pulled at the turnip. They yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Izzy, Grandma yelled, stop beating up my peach jam and help us pull this big old turnip. Oh my goodness. You think Izzy's gonna come help? Mm -hmm. Uncle Isidore wiped his mouth and came running. Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa. Grandpa pulled on Grandma. And they yanked and jerked and tugged. But that big old turnip would not budge. Nettie, Grandma yelled. Put the baby down and help us pull up this big old turnip. Uh-oh. So now they're calling Aunt Nettie. Oh my goodness. Aunt Nettie gave Baby Pearl a toy and came running. Aunt Nettie pulled on Uncle Isidore. Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa and Grandpa pulled on Grandma. 
They yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Rascal, Grandma hollered, put down that bone and help us pull up this big old turnip. Who do you think Rascal is? The dog? You're right. So here comes Rascal. Rascal dropped his chew bone and came running. Then Rascal pulled on Aunt Nettie. Aunt Nettie pulled on Uncle Isidore. Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa. And Grandpa pulled on Grandma. They yanked and jerked and tugged. But that big old turnip would not budge. It just wouldn't budge. They could not get it out of the ground. What are they going to do? Call for more help? I think you're right. Baby Pearl came toddling across the yard, her di diaper half undone. Shame on us, said Grandma. We forgot about Pearl. Baby Pearl pointed at the ground. Big potato, she said. Stand back, Pearl, warned Grandma. I'm going to haul this turnip out if it's the last thing I do. Okay, everyone, pull! Hmm. Huh. In all the confusion, nobody noticed that Baby Pearl was holding onto Rascal's tail. Then Rascal clamped onto Aunt Nettie's skirt. Aunt Nettie grabbed Uncle Isidore. Uncle Isidore grabbed Grandpa. And Grandpa held tight to Grandma. The whole family yanked and jerked and tugged with all their strength. And what do you think happened? Pop! At last, with dirt flying in all directions, that big old turnip burst out of the ground, and the whole family fell in a pile behind it. Baby Pearl clapped and said, Uh-oh, fall down. Look at them all laughing. Rascal's licking it, netty. Oh my goodness. By now the sun was setting. Everyone else went to bed, exhausted. But Grandma Lena stayed up late. She washed and chopped the turnip greens and put them in her biggest pots with some onions and bacon and cooked them until they were nice and tender. After that, she chopped in, up the giant turnip. It was so big, there, were there would be plenty left over for turnip casseroles, turnip fries, and pickled turnips. Then she made a turnip stew with potatoes, carrots, and peas. What would turnip stew be without cornbread, thought Lena. So she baked golden corn brown, golden brown corn muffins. The next day, Grandma Lena invited all her friends and neighbors to help her fill the hole and share her delicious turnip dishes. Half the town showed up with shovels, hoes, and spades. Some brought jugs of cool apple cider and lemony tea cakes to share. It was the biggest party since last year's 4th of July picnic. Everyone agreed that it was the best meal they'd had in a long, long time. The neighbors joked about what Grandma Lena would plant next year. It'll be big, one neighbor said. Lena doesn't do anything halfway. Of course, said Grandma Lena. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. That night, when the family was full and dozing in their chairs, Baby Pearl whispered to Rascal, Big potato, all gone. And that is the story of Grandma Lena's big old turnip. So when we read this story, there was a lot of things that were the same, weren't there? There were. I hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.